A gold fringe flag, also known as a fringe flag or a ceremonial flag, refers to an American flag that has a golden yellow fringe attached to its edges. This decorative fringe is purely ornamental and serves no legal or official significance. It is commonly seen in certain ceremonial or formal settings, such as courtrooms, government buildings, military parades, and official events. The inclusion of a gold fringe on the flag is not specified or mandated by any federal law or regulation. It is generally considered a matter of tradition and aesthetics rather than a symbol of any particular significance. The fringe is purely decorative and is often added to enhance the visual appearance of the flag, giving it a more formal and dignified look. The gold fringe flag holds no specific importance to civilians in terms of legal or constitutional rights. It does not alter the meaning or interpretation of the American flag or affect any individual's rights and responsibilities as defined by the U.S. Constitution. The flag with or without a gold fringe represents the same principles and ideals of the United States, including freedom, liberty, and democracy. However, it is worth noting that the gold fringe flag has been the subject of various conspiracy theories and misconceptions. Some individuals mistakenly believe that the gold fringe alters the legal jurisdiction of a courtroom or indicates the presence of martial law. These claims are unsubstantiated and have no basis in law. In summary, while a gold fringe flag is often used in ceremonial and formal settings, it holds no legal or official importance to civilians. Its purpose is mainly aesthetic and does not change the rights or obligations of individuals in any way. While the gold fringe flag holds no legal or official significance for civilians, its presence in certain settings can evoke a sense of formality and respect. The addition of a decorative fringe is often seen as a way to honor and pay tribute to the flag itself and the principles it represents. In ceremonial contexts, such as courtrooms or government buildings, the gold fringe flag can create an atmosphere of solemnity and tradition. It is often used during official events, such as inaugurations, military parades, or public ceremonies, where the flag takes on a symbolic role representing the unity and pride of the nation. The use of a gold fringe flag in these settings is rooted in historical tradition and aesthetics. The origins of adding fringe to the American flag can be traced back to the 19th century, when military units started incorporating fringes to their regimental colors for decorative purposes. Over time, this practice extended to civilian settings, adding a touch of elegance and symbolism to the flag's display. While some conspiracy theories or misunderstandings have emerged around the gold fringe flag, it is important to separate fact from fiction. Claims that the gold fringe alters the legal jurisdiction of a courtroom or signifies the establishment of martial law are baseless and lack any legal standing. Ultimately, the significance of the gold fringe flag lies in the values it represents and the respect it commands. The American flag, whether adorned with a gold fringe or not, is a powerful symbol of unity, freedom, and democracy. It serves as a reminder of the sacrifices made by countless individuals to protect and uphold the principles upon which the United States was founded. For civilians, the importance of the flag lies in its ability to evoke a sense of patriotism, pride, and shared identity. It serves as a visual representation of the nation's history, ideals, and aspirations. Whether displayed with a gold fringe or in its traditional form, the American flag remains a powerful symbol that unites people and reminds them of the values they hold dear. Altering the legal jurisdiction of a courtroom refers to changing or modifying the authority or jurisdiction under which a court operates. Jurisdiction refers to the legal power and authority of a court to hear and decide cases within a specific geographic area or over particular subject matters. In a general sense, Altering the legal jurisdiction of a courtroom would involve changing the established legal framework that determines which cases a particular court can hear and decide. This could involve redefining the geographic boundaries over which a court has authority or expanding or limiting the types of cases it can handle. The jurisdiction of a court is typically determined by law and is based on factors such as the geographical location of the court, the nature of the case, and the subject matter involved. The jurisdictional boundaries are established to ensure that cases are heard by the appropriate court, ensuring fairness, efficiency, and adherence to legal principles. Altering the legal jurisdiction of a courtroom can have significant implications. It may impact the rights and responsibilities of individuals, as well as the efficiency and effectiveness of the judicial system. Changes in jurisdiction can affect access to justice, the applicability of laws, and the allocation of resources within the legal system. It's important to note that altering the legal jurisdiction of a courtroom is a complex process that typically requires legislative action or changes to existing laws.
It is not something that can be achieved simply by adding a gold fringe to the American flag displayed in a courtroom or any other symbolic alteration. The jurisdiction of a court is determined by legal statutes and principles, not by decorative elements. The ideology surrounding the gold fringe flag, particularly the beliefs and misconceptions associated with it, originated in various fringe theories and misinterpretations over the years. These theories often stem from a misunderstanding of legal procedures, symbolism, and historical context. The use of fringe on flags, including the American flag, has a historical background dating back to the 19th century. Fringe was added to military colors and flags as a decorative element, primarily for ceremonial purposes. This practice extended to civilian settings, where fringe was incorporated into flags used in formal events, parades, and official displays. However, the specific ideology surrounding the gold fringe flag emerged much later and is not rooted in any official or legal doctrine. It gained prominence in the 20th century through various conspiracy theories and misinterpretations, often propagated by individuals or groups seeking to challenge the authority and legitimacy of the government or court systems. One common belief associated with the gold fringe flag is that its presence in a courtroom alters the jurisdiction or legal authority of the court. This theory suggests that the fringe indicates the implementation of admiralty law or martial law, asserting that a court operating under a gold fringe flag is no longer subject to the U.S. Constitution or common law principles. However, these claims have been consistently debunked by legal experts and hold no validity in the legal system. It's important to note that these fringe theories and misconceptions have been widely discredited and dismissed by legal professionals and scholars. The presence or absence of a gold fringe on the American flag does not change the legal jurisdiction or authority of a courtroom or any other legal institution. The interpretation of law and the principles that govern the legal system are determined by constitutional provisions, statutory laws, and judicial precedents, not by the decorative elements of a flag.